Rosemary Kemp and I'm an archaeologist and I excavated the site here and we found the monastic buildings of the venerable bead. But of course one of the things we couldn't dig up was a book. And so for many years I had wished to have a copy of one of the great works that this monastery made when I heard that there was this new way of copying the Codex Amiatinus. We tried very hard to see if we too could get a perfect replica of the greatest book that was produced here. Knowing that there was only one, this is in the Laurentian Library, we wrote to the Laurentian Library and asked if we could have a copy. And to begin with, it took nearly 10 years, from 2003 to 2013, before my letter was properly answered. And, and after that, the Friends of the World of Bee decided they would support and try and raise the money, nearly £40,000, to have this book made. And I hope that it will be an inspiration to the people around here. It will be an inspiration to show that from this area, one of the greatest works of biblical studies was made and that we were a centre of learning and of culture that was second to none in Europe. It's very important that it still exists. It's, it's one of the, the best examples uh, of uh, a document of that period in the world. The learning and the scholarship and the faith of these people who embarked on such a project. Uh, it's here in the North East, you know, we should, people should know. So I'm uh, Manuela Vestri and I'm from Florence and my company is La Meta Editore that produced this marvelous facsimile. It's a perfect replica of the Codex Amiatinus that is the original one is uh, in the Biblioteca Laurentiana in Florence and uh, it's a great pleasure to be here today because uh, it's concluding something that started 300 years ago. Uh, the Codex we started one year ago just to reproduce, but the dream started in 2003. It's uh, important just to have a link with this place because uh, England and Italy are linked with the history. So I'm very happy and excited to be in this place related to be this world. So here we are to welcome the Codex book. It's a fantastic opportunity to thank the Friends of Group for all of their hard work, but also to install the book into the Museum of Bees. This is a fantastic opportunity for the people of Jarrow and beyond to come and see such a wonderful, wonderful book and show the importance of the book to the people of England and beyond. So it's a great opportunity for people to come along, see what's here, but also have a great day out.